Which country has the best fighter jets in service? These fighter jets are my opinions and mine alone. You can think of other things and maybe you have information that contradicts mine. There's just a sprinkle of bias in here, but for the most part, the facts don't lie either. I'll do this in a top three style as well because it's fun. Number three, Russian Federation. Controversial, yes, but this answer is more about the aircraft themselves, less about the amount, though I doubt that would have much of an impact either. The Russians currently field these aircraft in active military service. MiG-29 Fulcrum, 449 in service. MiG-31B Foxhound, 90 in service. MiG-35 Fulcrum F, 8 in service. Su-24M Fencer, 275 in service. Su-25 Frogfoot, 190 in service. Su-27S and SM Flanker, 100 in service. Su-34 Fullback, 118 in service. Su-35S Super Flanker, 98 in service. Su-30M2 and SM Flanker C, 111 in service. Su-57 Felon, 16 built, and 6 in service. The Russian Air Force has had its slew of very advanced and capable aircraft over aviation history, and nothing has changed since, fielding some of the top fighters in the world. Russian fighters tend to be on the larger side of fighters, ranging from 50 to 70 feet in length, depending on the aircraft. This naturally gives them an impressive combat range and top speed due to the aircraft being able to field larger engines. Russian fighters also are no slouches in the dogfighting department, with all of them capable of super maneuverability, along with all around great high alpha control and more. This increased size does come at a cost most notably as having mediocre poor stealth capability compared to other fighters. Despite performing well in post-stall maneuvers, many Russian fighters are subpar in close in dogfights, commonly having a lower roll rate than most modern fighters. Main cannons are debatably weak in most Russian aircraft, since they all have either a 30mm or 23mm autocannon with between 150 to 300 rounds to fire. Not only is this a relatively small amount of ammunition, but the fire rate of Russian autocannons is within the 1000 to 2000 RPM range, which is abysmal when looking at other American aircraft guns. Missiles are fortunately a different story. Missiles like the R-77-1 and the R-73M give these fighters a fighting chance on the modern battlefield, having characteristics similar to or better than their Western counterparts. Number 2. People's Republic of China Part of the controversy, the Chinese have begun to pull ahead in their aircraft development in many ways, and they are closing the gap with the number one spot on this list. The Chinese currently field these aircraft in active military service. J-7 Fishcan, 388 in service. J-8 Finback, 96 in service. J-10 Firebird, 548 in service. J-11 Flanker L, 450 in service. J-16, 170 in service. J-20 Mighty Dragon, more than 50 in service. Su-35S Super Flanker, 24 in service. Su-30 MKK Flanker G, 76 in service. Su-27 Flanker, 32 in service. The Chinese Air Force is primarily made up of lent patents or direct aircraft from Russia, but their own developments have led them to have a minor edge over their northern counterparts. Nobody is surprised that the PLA Air Force's aircraft are very similar to the Russians in many ways. The outliers and the slight numerical advantage are what separate them. Chinese stealth programs are very obviously further along than Russian stealth programs, with the fielding of 150 plus Chengdu J-20s, one of the most capable fighters in the world at the moment. The Chinese have very good missiles, and they continue to get better with each iteration. 
Examples are the PL-15 and the PL-10. The cannons are the same story as the Russian cannons, subpar, and in desperate need of an upgrade. Number 1. The United States of America Who else did you expect? Were you expecting someone other than the good old US of A? Here are the numbers. F-15 Eagle C and D, 500 in service. F-15E and EX Strike Eagle, 400 in service. F-16 Vipers, 1265 in service. F-22A Raptor, 183 in service. F-35A Lightning II, 700 in service. A-10 Thunderbolt II, 400 in service. I guess I'll include the Navy fighters. FA-18E and F Super Hornet, 700 in service. EA-18G Growler, 150 in service. F-35C Lightning II, 24 to 50 in service. And the Marines. FA-18 Hornet, 144 in service. AV-8B Harrier II, 101 in service. F-35B Lightning II, 44 in service. Even if it were only one of these branches alone, they would all take the number one spot in the world, having a little something for everyone. If you know anything about the military aviation scene right now, you will know that the gold standard for fighters comes from the land of the free. Along with undoubtedly having the largest aerial presence in the world by a mile, they are all made up of world-class, top-of-the-line fighters. Infamously, the F-22 is the most maneuverable plane in the world, along with one the stealthiest. The F-35 is the next F-16, which are some big boots to fill, yet it is doing a better job than expected. The F-15 is the fastest fighter jet in service, bringing top-notch performance. There isn't much to say that many people haven't already said. One of the perks of having some of the most experience on the modern battlefield is well-equipped weapons for the job. The best of the best in the air-to-air -air role are the AIM-9X Sidewinder, AIM-120 Amram, and the Python 3. The last is an Israeli missile that may be the best close-range air-to-air missile in the world. We can't forget to speak on the main armament of American fighters either, the rotary cannon. There are three platforms used across most American fighters, the M61 Vulcan, the GAU-8 Avenger, and the GAU-22A. These all fire between 20 and 30 millimeters rounds at between 400 to 700 rounds a minute, or over 120 a second. There is no other nation in the world that has as effective cannons as the ones on American fighters. <laughs>